Okay, this tutorial is uh, all about uh, how to use the uh, the, uh, the publish to web option in CorelDRAX 3. And uh, in, with this tutorial, we're going to use web image optimizer. Okay, I'll just give you a scenario wherein, let's say you want to email an artwork to, to a friend and which you've done in Corel Draw and if I if I export this artwork okay, I do control A to, to select all objects and I go to file export and I want him to see it in in his his browser so I'll just I'll just choose JPEG and I'll click export and I'll just click export here and then click OK. And I click OK. So the JP. Now, when I when I send an email attachment to to my coworker or my friend, and he or she's going to open it, it would look like this. Okay, uh, that's what he's going to get, or he or she's going to get. So he's going to scroll and scroll like this and like that. So that is the disadvantage in exporting as a JPEG right away, doing that option of export. Now that's why Corel Draw make made that option of publish to web and web image optimizer. Now how does that work? First of all, when you are on when you are in Corel Draw, and let's say I'm going to zoom out like this, right? And it's going to be really predictable what the uh, the receiver of the email would would view the image because when I zoom out like this, this this view here or this size here would be the exact view that they're getting. Now, just to do an example here, okay, let's say I'm going to zoom out, I zoom in like that, and I want and I want my, the receiver of my email would see attachment exactly like this, this size and the screen, this size in my monitor. So that's when where you're using that option. So first you select, select the image that you want to, to save it for attachment and then go to file, and click on publish to web and then click on web image optimizer. Now once you're in image web image optimizer you're gonna have this dialog box here okay. now it's it's up to you if you want to make it a gif or a JPEG but usually when when an image has gradients and photographs you use JPEG and then if it's you know just graphics and text you use GIF okay. now we're gonna use JPEG for this because we have three images now, as you can see, uh, you can always change the the quality of the the image that you're sending. Say you want to shrink down the size of the file. Okay. So, but with this size, it's not really that big. You can go highest quality JPEG, and then you click OK. Okay. And then save it. Okay. So I'm just gonna save it here. I'll just. Uh, make it test two because the first one is test. Click on save. Right now, if I'm gonna send that attachment, uh, it's gonna be exactly the same as this. Okay. I'm gonna open my email and and I'm touch it to myself, the image to myself. I'm gonna view it how, and let's see how it looks. Like. Now I just open my email and then I open the attachment and take a look at this one that is the attachment that I received and if they take a look at the Corel size it's exactly the same right? so you're sure that the image that that you send as an attachment would fit the monitor see how it goes and then not only that if you compare the first exported JPEG it was 2 megs and compared to this one it is only, I'm going to check here, it's only 
not even 50 kilobytes. So then now the advantage of using that for viewing purposes in an attachment is that the file size is way smaller and secondly you can predict what the receiver will see in their monitor. Then let's say you want to send it with the size so that he or she can know what size of artwork are you using. So let's say I'm just going to put here 10 inches and I'll just put it here and then I'll put here 4 inches. Now, let's say I'm going to change the view. I'm going to make it, actually I want to, if you hit F4, okay, that's what I want them to see in the monitor. So, again, make sure to select the image that you want to, want to uh, publish to the web. So, Control A, and then go to File. You click, click on Publish to Web, and click on Web Image Optimizer. Okay. See in this view here, that would be the size that you know the receiver will, would see. So I click on JPEG, make it it's all up to you. I can go highest quality JPEG, click OK. And I'll put here test three. Save. Now I'll go to my email and then attach it to my uh, I'll send an email, attach this uh, the JPEG that we just uh, uh, publish for the web. Okay, I just opened my email and here's the attachment. I'm in a browser and if you take a look it's the exact size that you're looking at in the monitor when you're in Corelgo. So that's a big advantage, smaller size of attachment and uh, the attachment would be predictable and what would they see in their monitor. This is good for proofing and stuff like that online.